I have this picture of my family. It's from 1957. It was taken in their home in Detroit. Um, the story behind this photo is this was their first original house. My great-grandmother and great-grandfather, they moved here from Mississippi. My great-grandfather was a taxi driver, and so having this home was a very huge deal for them. They both had pretty much grown up in poverty. Um, my great-grandmother, her mother passed away of breast cancer, so from the time my great-grandmother great grandmother was like 15, she had to raise brothers and sisters, so they just didn't have enough of an income. My grandmother was telling me how for Christmas one year she got a mattress and she cried. And um, one of the big nonprofits in Detroit is Goodfellas and every year they would get their presents from there. And she didn't even know that <laughs> eggs, we make fun of her for it, but she didn't even know that eggs were real and they came from chickens because their eggs came from a can because that's what Goodfellas gave them for food. Great grandfather, he ended up passing away of, I think, cancer before I was born. The only person that he saw born was my oldest sister. Um, he died the week after she was born. Um, next to him, that's my great grandmother. She lived until she was 97 years old. Um, she was just the rock of the family, and it was really cool because I know older people, they can tend to they get dementia or they just don't know what's going on in the world but she really knew what was going on until she went away she was never she always could speak coherently and it was just really cool because i could still ask her questions about stuff even though when i was born she was already 70 80 years, years old this is my aunt peggy again she passed away before i was born um, this is my Aunt Gloria. She's still alive now. Her and my grandma just weren't the closest. My grandma was definitely the closest to Aunt Peggy. And then my Aunt Gloria was closest to um, Uncle James. And I think he was only six or seven in this picture. He ended up looking exactly like my great grandfather. Over here, that's my great-grandmother. She was 13, I believe, when this was taken. Um, obviously now she's 69. So it's just cool because when I found this, I was young and you just don't think about these older people in your life being young and it's just crazy seeing, whoa, you weren't, you weren't old all the time. Like what, you used to be a child? And it's cool seeing the family resemblance as well. She looks exactly like my mom in this picture. Seeing my grandmother and my family, you know, grow up in this in these harsh conditions and then grow up to be successful. My grandmother has her masters and she just retired recently. Um, my aunt, she has her PhD in social work and just seeing all of this greatness come from this terrible situation. And now I'm here at college and my mom has her master's in healthcare administration. And it's just crazy because, you know, no one would think from this picture that so many amazing things would happen to this family. full of some like kick-ass black women and I'm so glad to be a part of it. <laughs>